Flare's unique radiometric JPEG format allows for detailed post-processing and temperature measurement using Flare tools and other Flare software. Before you begin, click the Options button and make sure it is set for your desired temperature and distance unit. Double click on an image from your library to begin the analysis process. The scale and other settings will match what the camera was using when the image was saved. The level and span can be adjusted using these brackets below the image. This is known as thermal tuning. From here you can choose from a variety of color palettes. Certain palettes, like the Rainbow HC, have more contrast and can display more detail in the image. If an image is saved in MSX mode, or any fusion mode, you have the ability to switch between the various modes using these buttons. While in MSX mode, you can adjust the contrast or intensity of the MSX algorithm. You can show just the thermal image with no fusion. This button enables interval fusion, which behaves much like an interval isotherm. The scale sets the upper and lower limits for the infrared part of the image. This button enables thermal blending, which has a transparent effect. You can show more or less of the photo using this slider. In picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can see the thermal image in a small window on top of the photo. With this button pushed in, you can change the size and position of the IR window. The last button shows just the visual photo. Temperature measurements can be made by placing and positioning spot meters, areas, and lines on the image. Temperature readings are shown in the table to the right of the image and will update automatically if the tools are moved. You can right click on any tool to delete it from the image. Object parameters like emissivity and reflected temperature can be adjusted here. If something has changed, the measurement results will update accordingly. Click here to show all parameters. Using the difference function, you can calculate a temperature rise, which can be helpful in assessing certain types of faults. If you click Edit, you can configure the delta function to use the desired tools. In this case, I want to subtract spot 2 from area 1. Isotherms, also known as alarms, can be used to show areas of the image that are above, below, or between certain temperatures. The color and temperature levels can be adjusted from here. The humidity and insulation alarms are unique to the building industry and rely on input about relative humidity, humidity limit, insulation level, and several other parameters. The last option is the custom alarm, which allows you to combine a color palette with an isotherm. Your findings can be documented using notes and text annotations. The note can be added here. This is meant to be a brief description of your assessment.
the text annotations have a label value relationship, allowing you to be more specific. For example, you could use a location label and type the location of this breaker panel. Using the plus button, you can add another field for equipment and perhaps type the breaker panel name. You can continue to add labels and values as needed. All of the text becomes embedded in the image when it is saved. When your analysis is complete, you can save and close the image to return to the library, or click Save and use these navigation buttons to move to the next image. These images were stored using the sketch mode in the camera. This allows the operator to draw directly on the camera's LCD screen in order to highlight areas of interest on the image. Flare tools can be used to either show or hide the sketch. When it's time to create the final report, select the desired images from the library. The control key can be used to select more than one image. Now click the down arrow and click on the template you want to use. All text annotations and measurement results can be displayed on the final report page.